is on. Cameroon coming with the first jab. The Congolese. Tell me, I think uh, also on the move. Moroka goes to work. Powerful right there from the Moroccan. Oh, he lands again. He lands another one. Oh, terrific left jazz there from the man from Morocco. Eloaz Yassin, he goes to work. And uh, we are here to see any rear bar. That's the cue he needed, the, the man from DRC. And to start you, so also hitting some important punches. But still, Elwan Yasin proving to be the smarter of the two this early. He goes with a oh, but there goes the man from DLC, David Chama, Mwene Kabwe. We Morocco, sorry, Morocco, Malik. Morocco, get him Oh, so good. Different combinations from Yasin. But when it comes, we gradually warming up into the fight. Obviously, now getting his punches to go than previously. Round number one. About 45 seconds to go in this first stanza. And oh, Yasin. The Moroccan proving to be the smarter of the duo at this point in time. Will he continue this way or will they beat Mwene mm. Kabwe, Chama? Bounce back. There he takes another pounding. The Moroccan knows how to turn very well, but Mwene Kabwe now also delivers some hefty punches. And that concludes the opening round of this middleweight contest. Scared yeah. for three. Yeah. Yeah. You can see him in his yeah. corner, yeah. getting refreshed, yeah. and getting instructions for what is to come in this fight. Action continues here tonight, and after this fight, we have three more to go. But you know, it is not the end of it. Until Saturday, we are fighting every day till Saturday, and. I've just been corrected that uh, Friday will be an off day for boxing at the Africa Games because we have the semi finals. I think the boxers will rest on Friday for the finals on Saturday. So as the fight goes on, let me kindly update our viewers about the boxing schedule for this Africa Games. As we've seen from yesterday, Friday, through today, we are having the preliminary rounds, the, the round of 16th, so that we eliminate some people. Then from tomorrow, Sunday, 17th, through Monday, 18th, to 
Tuesday 19th March, we'll be having the quarterfinals in the various divisions. Flyweight, of course, already had their quarterfinals today. Flyweight men, that is. Meanwhile, this fight still continues. And after the quarterfinals on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday will be a rest day. Before we return to action on Thursday with the semifinals, also on Friday. We finish the, we do all the semifinals on Thursday. We rest again on Friday. Then Friday we will, will be finals. Then Saturday will be medal ceremony. So this is the fight schedule. If you want to keep, you know, in the loop with what is happening in boxing, if you are a big a big boxing fan like some of us, and want to know what's happening in boxing, especially with the Black Bombers, primed to win medals. We saw three, and four, sorry, qualify for the quarterfinals, and just one victory away from, you know. The medal zone earlier today, after Kote was on his way, but sadly failed at the very final hurdle. So for Radio 2, we have the Ring Warrior child, uh, Samuel Tichi, fighting tomorrow for P2 to get his place to the quarterfinal uh, stage. So whatever happened, he will be fighting the light with our division. Uh, trust us. Keep you updated. We we'll also update you on the, the fights coming out for Ghanaian fighters in the in tomorrow before we close for today. But meanwhile, let's join the action in the ring as the two boxers entangle each other. I thought they were hugging each other there. But the referees are present and the show continues. Is an attack from DLC's David Chama Mwenekabwe against the man in blue. And the round is over, but the two guys were still fighting. Very, very primed for the fight. And the round one was scored 5 0 for the Moroccan. So we'll see if, you know, Chama with the cowboy money to get his way back in the second stanza before we approach the third. And it's another 4-1 victory in round two for the Moroccan. And you can see the highlights from that round two. It's slick, tactical, smooth operation from the Latin Moroccan. But the 4 1 appears to be too wide. The show we are seeing from the, you know, Congolese in that round two, per the highlights we just saw. Wow. Ten and the final continues. round. Yeah. At the Bukum Boxing Arena. And the Moroccan. Ah, okay. I think I know the Moroccan Yumar. I think it's 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 Yumar. Just getting out of the way to avoid the hefty looking punches of David Chama Mwini Kabwe of Congo DR. And. Thank you, Mr. When he came away in a, an attempt to, to punch, Yasin was rather counted and he fell flat and got the standing count, which makes winning this fight now a very, very difficult one for him. Clearly, he is a good boxer too, but the Moroccan is more well, tactical, exactly ready, exactly. knows the sport, knows how to time his opponent, knows how to, to run away from him, and land at the perfect yeah, time. Say that, say that. So, that. so much that. tactical that. That. genius from the Moroccan. That. 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 So much we've seen from the North Africans tonight. So much we've seen from them all over. And however they do it, I believe it's the investment. Some of these boxers do stay in camp for one year, six months, preparing for just this tournament. And that's how you do it in sport. Don't gathering some normal boxers 
making them go on residential training, camping, be going from home to camp every day, and one month, weeks to the tournament, then you camp them in Cape Coast, and you expect magic. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. The Moroccans were in Turkey preparing for this competition. While they had one team that went to Italy, and that team was in Turkey preparing for this Africa Games. And when the Kabwe has managed to hit the Moroccan so much that the referee gave him the standing count. Can he shrink a spot surprise here? With 40 seconds left in the fight, he obviously needs a knockout to win. Can he do it? Can he do it? And the more he fails to learn to put his opponent down, the more the time keeps running and running out for him. The man from the DRC in the red against Elwaz Yassin of Morocco in the blue. And once again, the fight was in was somehow stopped by the referee, but it continues again, and the time has run out. Oh, it's too late for David Chama when the cab way has landed a powerful right, right. Uh, when the bell sounded for the end of